Hello, right, so this is the, the card in the machine. Try and go over a few things uh, rather quickly. School holidays are on, so I'm getting pestered. Um, this will change. Uh, I'll come to this in a, re a minute as to why this is silver. And uh, yeah, this is standard. I'll be changing these color schemes. So this is just to show you where it all lights up on the internals, on the bottom, top. It's bit on the side. There's different color profiles. You can do different colors and where it moves around and things like that. Uh, normal BIOS things on here, which is on there, which is silent and gaming. I did run it on silent for a while, uh, but I just want to try it on gaming. Uh, the silent, uh, I'm I'm really impressed with how this well this card kills. Uh, from what I gather, the this card on Supreme, there's one heat pipe missing from this. I remember correctly compared to that one now it's got heat pipes obviously in vapor chamber and stuff like that but I think it compared to Supreme it's got one heat pipe difference apart from that all the internals phases everything is the same um, but I got this for a lot less than what the Supreme is which is the reason why I went for this one so uh, right where to start when I had the, the Ventus and the Amp, they both behaved the same when it comes to the likes of call line. Some games you would have an electrical hum, and some games you had a slight buzz. Now I judge call line by if I put the case together, put the side on, I go sit down and turn the volume down uh, quite low or off. If I can hear a buzzing, I know for a fact that it's going to bother me at some point, and I'm just picky, and I don't care. And it's going to go back. I went through 11 40 90s until I got to the Gigabyte Master, which is, like again, like I said in the previous video, the best card I've ever owned. And I've been buying GPUs since uh, the Voodoo uh, 3D FX, I think it was. It's so long ago. Um, so, yeah, I've had quite a few graphics cards. And um, as I've got older, I've got more picky, especially because the prices have gone up. But I went through 1149s until I got to the one I liked. I tried different PSUs. I did all the normal stuff that anyone can ever suggest you do. And in the end, uh, it was when I got the master and that was great. It was grand. Uh, tiny amount of call wine, tiny. And from what I gather, they're one of the best cards at the moment for, for the likes of that as well. But anyway, so the amp and the, the Ventus behaved exactly the same when it came to call wine. Electrical hum in some games, ironically, uh, the highest power draw, things like Doom, uh, Dark Ages, and Cyberpunk, is more like an electrical hum. It wasn't really like a call wine. Now, I didn't play a lot of games. I just went straight to the high power draw. When the amp went back, again, for the reasons I stated in the last video, I noticed with some of the older games, like, uh, well, I'm saying older, Atom Falls, not that old. It's only just come out really last year, whatever it was. Um, which had a lower power draw it had uh, some call wine you could hear now when i say here you'd have to turn the volume down uh, really low um, or it would be on a quiet part of the game and when the side was on because the way noise travels and because the ai is on the top uh, noise will travel out and i could hear it but again compared to what some people probably judge it by it was probably not that big of a deal but yeah it's me um now, I thought, well, time's getting close for changing my mind. Uh, this was an offer. I thought, what the hell, try this. I got this card, and it behaved exactly the same. It was slightly better, but the thing I noticed, which was really odd, was that the call wine and the games and stuff like that, how it worked in all the different games, was exactly the same, uh, which made me go down the path of the PSU. I've done this before. Uh, I've tried PSUs, tried to get all that kind of stuff, cables. And nine times out of ten, if you've got call wine, apart from changing cables, PSUs, undervolt, all that kind of stuff, you're kind of stuck with it. The card is how it is. Very rare occasion you can have a break in where the, co um, the inductors settle and it kind of dies down or goes away. Sometimes it completely stops, but it's very rare. So I went in the attic. And luckily, I had an old EVGA PSU, which ironically I'd put on eBay to sell. Um, but one of the people who bid on it changed the mind on the last day. And I was going to relist it. Now, I didn't. And I'm very happy I didn't. Um, because I got that out. And 
because it's an old one, it doesn't have obviously the 16 pin connector. So I have to use three eight pins, get hold of the, uh, an adapter off Amazon, plug that in. I thought, well, this is not going to do anything. Plugged in and the coal wine dropped to like at least 50% as to what it was. I was like, well, would you believe it? Um, so now, and it was the same with the Ventus, on again, Cyberpunk, things like that, the really high power ones, uh, uh, benchmarks, so anything that took a real high power draw, there was nothing. But the ones that were, about, say, about 100 watts less, uh, days gone, atom fall, I noticed in those two games, the core wine that I got in those two games, which again, some games can cause it. There is some um, uh, graphic engines which do cause more core wine than others. Really weird, uh, beyond my understanding. It knocked their core wine down by 50% easily. And I was like, well, would you believe it? So the only problem is I don't know if it's the PSU, whether it's just a better PSU, whether it's just that, it's just that occasion, or whether it's the fact that I went to the three um, three eight pins into the one. So if you've got a, a PS, uh, sorry, a GPU, one of the forty um, nineties or even fifty nineties or fifty eighties, and you've got core wine, um, stick in the three eight pins. Use the adapter that comes with it. You can buy a better one, obviously, like this one. Get the adapter that comes with it. Stick it in. Try your games again. If your core wine drops or whatever, then obviously you want to invest in one of these. Kind of things um, now as it is that will be going because I've got a because oh, what it is is this is an extension so this goes to the back and then the EVGA ones go in so there's a spaghetti junction of cables back there so I'm getting a one from EVGA uh, sorry from uh, cable mod which goes directly from the PSU to the card um, which is going to help a lot so yeah you want to try the three eight pins into the, the one to see if it helps with your car wine uh, again very shocked don't know if it's the PSU or if it's the three connectors that's done it, um, but it's worked. I'm very, very happy. As for the card itself, again, it's previous video. This thing cools insanely well, um, really, really quiet. Uh, the stuff you can throw at it, to, you know, you get the power draw out of it and how it handles it is just insane. Really impressed with how well this cools. But again, it, it's a bigger card. It's chunky, it's heavier than the Ventus and stuff like that. It's a really, really big card compared to that one. Um, it looks nice enough. Um, again, I really liked the, the lighting on the master. Um, the LCD screen that was up here was meh, whatever. But I liked the way it had the lighting in the fans where you can obviously do some patterns when the fans are spinning and stuff like that. Um, but this is a nice card. Is it as good as the 4090? Um, obviously it's it's runs the games and everything a hell of a lot better and stuff like that. But uh, the other thing to take into account is longevity. Uh, will this card last three, four years? As to when the 6090s come out, uh, will I get this? Will he, this thing still be here and it's been all working? Nothing's exploded or burnt out or anything like that. Um, obviously, time will tell. But in this moment in time, it, it's certainly uh, one of the cards I would recommend. Um, it's quiet, it cools like hell, uh, it looks nice. Uh, it's a hell of a lot cheaper than what some of these other ones are at the moment and so yeah um, there's nothing bad to say about the card really um, it's all good so far again try that three pin connector that three eight pins and see if uh, if you have an issue with call wine see if yours goes away and if it does, let us know, because it'll be interesting, because uh, it might be the way forward that just to forget these things, the, the one cable, and just keep sticking with the three eight pins um, and see what happens. Anyway, I'm waffling again, but time to go play some stuff. Bye.